What's going on YouTube? It's me and today we're doing white rose from TriHack Me. So in this video we're diving into sprint resting vulnerability um, to a server side template injection or SSDI for short. I will break down how its vulnerability works, why it's dangerous and I will show you practical examples so you can understand the impact. Make sure to stick around and learn more about how to keep your app secure and let's get started. As always, we are starting with MMAP, so I'm um, generally using Nova-T4. Um, let's change my apparatus first, and then let's give it, and dash T4 and dash BP for um, scanning all ports, and dash VV for double verbose, and giving all or IP addresses. So there is just two ports open, so which one is SSH on port 22, and there's already in the web server on HTTP on port 80 and we have to be web servers over here So let's visiting our web server and it will be redirect us here Kupris bank to try hack me So let's look at here control U and there will look like nothing here to be understanding Here fastly I'm gonna be open my burp suit and then starting here Firefox faster So this will be take my is there any directory but as you can see here there is look like no directory working I'm gonna be open here on FFUF and looking for subdomain and then let's visiting here FFUF and then we are just gotta here dap 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 and admin is over there. So let's look in my ATC and host file and we have right now is me and admin me. I'm gonna be open here and uh, nope. So is there something wrong? So let's visit in here and um, in this subdomain we got login page name and password in the room description and it will be saving us to here Olivia Cortez and Olivia 8 for the build login page. Let's visit in here and giving this and Olivia 8 for the password. We have an access here right now on here and get here something different and this could be um, really cool and um, there's on the home page and we have also here search and there is something out and settings. We have no permission this page. So it means we need new user is over here on web server. As you can see here and message and we got here something different. And then there's look like potentially XSS. So I'm gonna go my stream and giving here 80 port and doing my every time did my XSS um to be payload. So let's send it and there's look like no XSS potentially. You may want to try here any other XSS payloads, but it's not going to be work here because there is something really out. So it will be either. So if you are checking here, giving a message and another message will be deleting here. So there is look like an either. So I'm going to be putting here one and we are just so we saw we here one message. So let's give in here a um, random huge number and we have no access here another users and his password. So I'm going to be try his password and log out here and log in as him and guy bill and the for password let's try here. So let's go settings. We have no access in customer name and new password to be saved with it. We have an access on settings tab. I'm gonna be go here my intercept is own and then giving here a and a and let's send it on repeater and then intercept is off and there's look like really cool um to be add a new customer but it says password update to eight but there is something web server is not supporting for example you cannot um change to be password with that password um the flag here or to be grabbing right so let's change it here with send to be getting here internal server error because when we get a here internal server error it means maybe with errors we can grab some the files name from the apps right so this is actually what we have to be do first and we are getting here password is not definite and giving us something here different for example egs so we are just now or web server application is running by EGS. So I'm going to be, be copy it and go here visiting in exploit. So there is too many things you will be getting here, but interesting things could be here server side template injection vulnerability. And there's really the, another cool things from sync. And this is really cool because there is um, just 
part of them giving us here payload and this one is actually giving us here another payload is over here as you can see right and there is one we can so those are both starting with settings so we are just right now sure or payload need to be starting with it right so my payload is actually already here i'm gonna be go use it and then let me show you what this meaning and echo and giving my payload and base 64 and dash d and it will be running here busy box on ncat and giving here to be your ip addresses and which port you want to be listening and running on binary and bash so i will be running here ncat mvlp on 443 because i want to be getting here shadows back with on port 443 so let's visit in here and giving my the payload as like that let, let me send it and we are get shut as back here as web uh, let's use it here python 3 dash c and um, import pussy and putty that spawn um, let's run in, um, import here binary bash export term x term and control z Alright, so we have an access here right now as web again. So let's do the thing here on the home page and there's look like you know no needed any other user. We are already web and we got here user.txt and you can check here we see the C and how it's actually using here user.txt and there is um, 35 characters, right? That's really cool. So let's do um, old school sudo dash l and it will be showing us here sudo edit and then nginx and sites available admin copperspunk try hack me. I'm gonna be going here and sudo edit privilege escalation and this is giving us here another CVE. It's a pack, it's CVE 2023 and then it's look like you can do editor vim etc sudo and giving care which sudo edit you need to be do here. And this is ORS ETC engine X is over here. And then you can do here after you're giving your username. Um, the current username is or is web. And you can do here sudo su on root. So let's do it fastly and export editor vim etc and sudoers and sudo edit which one we need to be doing here. I will be going here sudo edit. And then we have an access right now on sudo edit right now. Right. So um, there's a um, we saw is there's a um, root server and then i think we can um remove here root and giving or which username we have is in web and then control c and w dash q um what's wrong all right so and then after you do here sudo and su and then it will be ask password oh it's out the su root we have no password for it so I think it's out. I don't know why it's not working. So let me do it again one more time. Sudo edit etc config. Um, it's out. So let me visit think here again. Where is VAP? Um, yeah. So it's because we need to be changed here. I think uh, with no password, right? Um, and it's need to be changing here as um so let's change in here oh we need to be oh it's need to be oh right okay so um let's change in here i don't know why is not working correctly i will be doing here wrap and to or wrap need to be work like all again and it's need to be here oh it's all really and it has to be work as root and it's need to be asked as no password that's why because we have no um, password for web and then let's do here all right so let's do sudo su and we are having access root tab right now and we are root right now so you may want to check here we see and dash c on root.txt okay all right so we are already got it here on the pre machine and thank you for watching